All right. Let's see, let's see where we go. Let me know when you're ready. I am all set. All right. All right. I'm Paul. Okay. All right. I'm Paul, and today we're going to burn stuff using Aerogel. Now, if you don't know what Aerogel is, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Go on Wikipedia, Google search it. You can learn all about the properties or go to buyaerogel.com. That's what I did to buy the Aerogel that I have or Aerogel Technologies. But first, let me show you what Aerogel looks like. You can hardly see it, it's kind of clear. But this is the same stuff that NASA used on the bottom of the space shuttle when it was going re-entering into Earth. And the Aerogel is what protected the space shuttle from burning up. That's as much as I'm going to get into it. What we're going to do first is I'm going to take this water-based binder and I'm going to mix it with about a half a cup of Aerogel. Now Aerogel is hydrophobic, so it doesn't absorb water, but it does bind, and you can see how it's binding with that. You can see how it's getting all lumpy in there. It becomes almost like stuck. But the beauty of Aerogel is that you can mix it with anything, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you that you can mix this with practically anything, and it's going to become fire resistant and create a thermal barrier. All right, so that's done with that. Let's put that off to the side. All right, now it's time to burn things. Now, let me just tell you right off the bat, I've been working with Aerogel for a long time, so don't go out and start burning stuff yourself. This is just to show you the cool properties of Aerogel and the things you can do with it that I'm hoping that in the future some companies or people like Aerogel Technology are going to work with this and make it for the normal person to be able to use. Right now it's being used for high level stuff. Let's bring it down to our neighborhood. Like for instance, I want to show you something. I took regular Aerogel, well I took Aerogel with regular latex house paint. This is the same stuff that you would paint on your house, okay? And I mixed it with the Aerogel just like I did with that water-based binder. Now, I'm gonna put this right here. And I, first I just wanna show you if John, the camera is over, this is cardboard. This is just regular cardboard. And this is paint with Aerogel. Now, this is a regular laser. I don't know, let's see if I'm dead. I'm at uh, 81 degrees. Oh, that's, uh, we're just gonna go, Call 911 and I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do, just like I promised, we're gonna burn something. So I'm gonna ask John to put the camera on the uh, tripod because I'm gonna need his help for this. So be right back. So John's here now, uh -oh. and uh, because I want John to hold on to it while I burn it because I don't wanna do that because that would be stupid. So anyway. So, first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this on. There we go. All right. Yeah. That is flame. Now, John, I'm going to have you put your hand behind that cardboard. Okay? Yeah. Just like that. Right. Okay? Now, I'm going to take this to you. Now, I'm going to set this right there. Whoop. It's too high. You feel anything? And I'm just, that flame's just burning on there. Nothing? Right now we are at 500 degrees and climbing. And now we are over the limit that this thing can register. Still nothing? This has been burning. All right, let me shut this off. Wow. Now you can see it's smoldering, but what's smoldering right there is the latex that's in the paint. Yeah, just uh, blow it away there. And you can see right there, and how's your hand? How's the back of it? Let's test the back of it. Turn around here, and let me, uh, 97 degrees. That thing was glowing red, and it's only 97 degrees on the other side of that. And look at this. That's pretty amazing. That's how thin. Yeah. That's how thin. I want to show, go yeah, ahead, here, get, back to your, get back to your job. All right, let's do this again. Look how red. I mean, this thing won't even register and this goes up to 500 degrees. 
So you're looking at that glowing red. And I'll just keep going on this. Now, John, go to the other side. Oh. Yep, oh. There we go. Now, if you look on the other side, this is still glowing red. You see the flames coming over the house, over the cardboard house. This is just regular cardboard. And I just keep burning this thing. Keep burning. Now, this remember, this is regular paint mixed with aerogel particles that you can buy online. All right. See, still smoldering. Just took the flame off. I can put my hand on the back of this. I can hold it. That right there, again, the thermal properties of this and the fireproof properties of this are incredible. My hand is right up against this. Look, you can see I'm pulling and pressing my hand up against this. This was just glowing red and it was on fire. So what is this, just regular household paint? Just regular household paint that you buy at Lowe's, outside paint, and, this, and the one I have was with latex in it. That's why you're also watching it burn. But that's not aerogel burning. That's the actual paint burning. The aerogel is keeping the flames from going into the cardboard. It's keeping it from burning. I'm not gonna get scientific, because I'm not scientific. I'm just showing you. I was burning the outside of this with regular paint. And there's nothing. And look at this. I'm gonna get all that off of there. There's still some underneath. This happens to your house. Just slap another coat on top of it. Now, I know there's gotta be a lot of scientific stuff done, a lot of studies. You wanna do that. But what I'm saying is, this is stuff with all the forest fires that are going on out there and all the homes. Think about if you had this on, on your roof or on outside of your house. It would give you a lot of time to get out.